Well, you know what that sound means. It is time to verify. This is probably part of your daily wardrobe, or at least it's not far from you in your car, perhaps. We're about a week and a half into North Carolina's mask mandate, as you might be familiar. This order requires all North Carolinians to wear masks inside or outside in any circumstance where social distancing isn't possible. Yes, there are certain factors, including certain medical conditions, that qualify as valid exemptions. But do the masks themselves pose a health threat? Good morning show viewer Jason Hutchins asked if a healthcare worker could prove if someone loses oxygen levels while wearing a mask. He said he has seen pictures on Facebook saying that theory is true and others saying it's false. Jason didn't send me the specific posts he had seen, but a quick Facebook search proved yes, this claim is out there. So to verify, I talked to Dr. Scott Siegel, professor and chair of anesthesiology at Wake Forest Baptist Health. I also reached out to Cone Health and received a response from Dr. Bruce Swords, the chief physician executive. Both doctors confirmed the idea that masks lower your oxygen is false. Dr. Swords explained, quote, Masks are worn thousands of times per day in operating rooms. Doctors and nurses are unaffected. Masks have no impact on how much oxygen is being inhaled or how much carbon dioxide is being exhaled. Some people may feel uncomfortable wearing a mask, either because it's inconvenient or hot, but wearing a mask has no impact on oxygen levels, end quote. So why then might wearing a mask make you feel dizzy, breathless, or cause a splitting headache? Dr. Siegel explained, quote, in many cases, it may simply be an anxious reaction to the resistance to breathing one may feel when wearing a mask. If someone hyperventilates a bit, headache and lightheadedness may follow. He went on to write that in very rare circumstances, some tight fitting masks with a lot of resistance to breathing can increase carbon dioxide trapped behind the mask, which could theoretically cause respiratory distress. But, he said, scientific research and all public health agencies show that this effect is minuscule, end quote. So as far as fabric, Dr. Siegel's team has tested the fabrics on breathability and such, and he found those with tighter, thicker yarn and higher thread counts were most effective and still breathable if worn properly, of course, over your nose, mouth, and chin. He and Dr. Soros emphasize masks markedly reduce the spread of COVID-19. All right, thank you to viewer Jason for asking me to verify a great discussion here. If you have a question, you can follow Jason's lead. You can submit a post selfie video, or a screenshot of the article on Facebook you've seen in question. Post it on my Facebook page, Mega Malaris News. Email it or tweet it to me and let me get your questions verified.